Are you looking for the best external solid state drive then you're on the right place. You are watching top 5 picks for you and in this video we gonna checking out top 5 best external SSDs in 2021 for every type of consumer. We have included links in the description box down below for the latest prices. So let's get started our today's list with lossy rugged SSD Pro, which we listed on 5th place as best SSD for videographer. Most people don't need, and won't want to pay for, the extreme speed and durability of Lossy's rugged SSD Pro external solid state drive. But if you're a videographer, filmmaker, or other professional who works in the field then this external SSD is best for you. The rugged SSD Pro's speed and toughness are pretty much tied for being its most impressive feature. For the first, it marries a Seagate FireQ to non-volatile memory express SSD with a Thunderbolt 3 interface. Lossy rates the combination at 2800 Mbps for both disk reads and writes, compared with the 2800 Mbps for reads and 2300 Mbps for writes claimed for the Samsung Portable SSD X5 another SSD that combines NVM Express with Thunderbolt 3, and the only other drive we've tested to date with similar performance. The sleek black case, with rounded edges all around. Measures 0.7 by 3.9 by 2.6 inches and weighs just 3.5 ounces, making it light enough to be comfortable in a shirt or pants pocket. For water and dust resistance, the rugged SSD Pro's IP67 ingress protection rating translates to the highest level for dust resistance defined as dust tight and one of the higher levels for water resistance, able to survive a 30 minute immersion in shallow water. This external SSD rates the dry's drop tolerance at 3 meters and its crush resistance as able to survive being run over by a car weighing as much as 4,410 pounds. On fourth place we have added to SE800 SSD as best universal SSD. The added to SE800 isn't the cheapest external solid state drive you can buy its list price of $129.99 for the 1 terabyte unit seen here comes out to 26 cents per gigabyte. The SE800's brushed aluminum case, which comes in blue or black, contains in the next generation form factor type 2242 solid state drive, formatted as XFAT by default. The drive is easily reformatted and is compatible with Windows, Mac, Android, Linux, Xbox One, and PS4 devices. Rubber ends protect the unit from dust and water. You simply remove the tabbed end to expose the USB-C port and an LED activity light. This SSD doesn't really have speed to spare after all. When it comes to data transfers, there's no such thing as too much performance. But it's plenty fast. We subjected the SSD to a series of benchmarks designed to stress the drive and to mimic real-world computing tasks. The SE800 came through, earning high marks in most of our tests. The Mac-only Blackmagic drive testing utility was created by an Australian producer of video software and hardware, and is often used to help videographers gauge how a drive will perform when working with large video files. In this test, the added to turned in slightly slower red speeds than the Tough Nano, Crucial X8, and SanDisk Extreme Pro. Its write speeds, though, were thoroughly competitive. On third place we have Samsung T7 Touch Portable SSD as best SSD with fingerprint sensor. Samsung sells the T7 Touch in three capacities, 500GB, 1TB and 2TB. Rated at 1050 Mbps read and 1000 Mbps write speeds, the small portable SSD can deliver exceptional speed over its USB 3.2 generation 2 interface. As it is with most portable SSDs, the T7 Touch lacks an endurance rating, but comes back by a 3 year warranty. Like all other recent portable drives, Samsung's T7 Touch is bus powered. So plugging it into most USB ports should be enough for it to operate, but speeds will be limited depending on which kind of port you use to get the best performance. The drive comes pre-formatted as XFAT to be compatible with almost any computer you plug it into. In addition to PC and Apple computers, the company states the T7 Touch will even work with mobile phones, gaming consoles, TVs, and more. 
Samsung ships the T7 Touch with two USB cables, one USB Type-C to Type-C and one USB Type-C to USB Type-A. This external SSD measure about 18 inches each, which is 6 to 9 inches longer than what most similar SSDs come with. That's a nice touch that should help you avoid dangling the drive from a front or rear port. The drive is bulky for an SSD, measuring 0.55 by 4.7 by 2.4 inches. The Samsung Portable SSD T7 Touch measures 0.3 by 3.3 by 2.2 inches by comparison. But the added heft could help the drive better survive occasional drops and bumps unscathed. So paying extra for a bit of durability is justifiable to me. On second place we have WD Black P50 Game SSD. With flash-based memory technology so inexpensive these days, bargain external solid-state drives can be found in every corner of the internet. As a result, manufacturers are brainstorming creative ways to differentiate their drives beyond just price such as adding new interface technologies and unique styling that appeals to certain demographics especially gamers. Since you can now pick up high-quality external SSDs for less than 15 cents per gigabyte, the P50's list prices might initially give you pause. The first measure is subjective, but I think that WD pulls off the proposition quite nicely. This external SSD takes its design cues from a shipping container, something that's clearly in vogue right now. The best part of the P50's physical design is that its uniqueness looks intentional, similar to the way that Lossy's rugged drives have embraced the industrial chic aesthetic. This is opposed to many other ruggedized drives, some of which have mil-spec certifications but lack any features that could be described as stylish. The drive is a small, thick, black rectangle with ribbed sides and prominent hex screws in each corner. The branding is consistent with the shipping container theme, with a stylized font and a layout that evokes a utilitarian label of contents. In the P50's box, you'll find a USB Type-C to Type-C cable, a USB Type-C to Type-A cable, and the quick install guide. It's nice that WD includes both types of cables, which means that no adapters will be required for connecting to PCs or game consoles. In addition to PCs and Macs, this SSD is also compatible with the Sony PlayStation 4 and the Microsoft Xbox One. To end our today's list with Seagate Barracuda Fast SSD which we listed on first place as overall best external SSD. The next generation of the boldly named Seagate Fast SSD is here. Now the Seagate Barracuda Fast SSD, this little square drive has similar features to its predecessor and a nearly identical design but with an updated color scheme. Features sported by this drive include future-proof and fully reversible USB-C connectivity, special file syncing software, and fast file transfer speeds which is to be expected with SSD technology. The Barracuda Fast SSD features a uniquely identifiable design. It's a thin and light square-shaped drive that features a nearly all-black enclosure with white Seagate branding on top and a green lip around the faceplate. The green lip along the faceplate also features a green LED that lights up when the drive is powered on. The front of the drive features the USB-C connector. Looking at the bottom of the drive is run of the mill identifying drive information like the serial number and drive capacity. Utilizing XFAT formatting, out of the box this drive works with both Windows and Mac. To test the performance of the Seagate Barracuda Fast SSD we will be looking at black magic on a current generation MacBook Air and IO meter on the HP Spectre X360. For black magic, the Seagate Barracuda Fast SSD was able to hit 497.1 MB per second read and 469.4 MB per second write speed. This is all for now, you can check links in the description box down below. All external SSDs are available on Amazon you can check in the price by clicking on the link. Thanks for watching, hope to see you guys in the next video, goodbye.